cup can of butter. Three cups of powdered sugar. I'm going to use my can of sugar. Make powdered sugar out of it. Use a half cup of can of butter. If I had dark chocolate, I'd use dark chocolate, but it all has milk chocolate. So, four cups here. Alright, this calls for half cup stick butter. I'm using half cup can of butter. Calls for three cups of powdered sugar. I made my own powdered sugar. A can of sugar. Just grind it up. Food processor. Grind it up in that. Got three cups. Now the rest of the ingredients is on this. Try to make some fudge. Double whammy on the can of butter and can of sugar. So I went ahead and emptied this out. Let's see if this thing's recording. When it emptied it out, so I've probably got three quarters of a cup of dark chocolate. Because can of butter is foul. So you want, I found cinnamon is really, really good for masking the flavor. I made some really, really good sugar cookies, extra cinnamon in it, on it with my can of butter and my can of sugar. And it turned out really good. You can barely taste the uh, the RSO. Three cups of can of powdered sugar, probably a cup and a half of uh, cocoa. It's almost strong cocoa to cover up the can of butter flavor, the RSO. Using one third cup of milk. The recipe is on the uh, dark chocolate container and I'll just mix them in I'll probably won't use one third cup all, all one third cup because I want to uh, have this really thick I might have to use the whole one third but this is the icing So I'm melting some uh, chocolate chips. I just want uh, dark chocolate, but I'll have this milk chocolate. Because, like I said, dark chocolate helps cover up that nasty can of flavor. Just keep mixing it up. Probably have to use more milk. So I want just a thick paste. Okay, I used three of these one-thirds because it's still dry, it's still dry to the first one. But I forgot I had a cup of can of butter to add to it. So I've got to do some more stirring. Then once I get that stirred up, I might add some more can of powdered sugar, stiffen it up more because I want this like a fudge. Over here, double bowling, four cups of milk chocolate chips and I'll we'll add the other stuff to this and then I'll put it in here and see if it'll firm up making some uh, <clears throat> hopefully very potent THC using the RSO fudge and I got two picks all corners that way let's steam up, heat this glass up. Alright, stirred it up some more. Try to make some fudge. This is three cups of canna powdered sugar. One cup of canna uh, oil. Half cup of canna uh, butter. I'm gonna add that to Just 
chips. The taste of this <laughs> is pretty freaking foul. Because it's a can of powdered sugar and a can of butter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some regular powdered sugar to get the sweetness in it. Because the can of powdered sugar got that can of flavor in it. So, add some more powdered sugar to it. I think I'll wait. I'll mix it with this and see what happens. Because cinnamon, I found, is a good masker for kind of butter, tincture stuff, uh, lots of sugar. That's another good way of doing it. So, yeah, I'll probably add some more powdered sugar to this, which is going to be a bitch because this is thick. And I'll just keep up and keep up until it gets a hard ball almost. Yeah, I've tasted it. I mean, it's doable, but I want something to where it's, you know, you're not going to be able to tell. But cannabis, it's not really good for <laughs> cooking if you need the flavor, I don't think. But uh, milligrams, as far as this concerned, three cups, I mean, God, I don't know. It's going to be a... It's gonna be a strong one. Anyway, making some cannon fudge. So I tasted it. So I'm adding a cup of regular powdered sugar. Uh, note to self, only use one or the other. I mean, it's after you eat a little bit of it, you won't taste it, but yeah, the first couple bites, it's just foul. And another note to self, I've tasted just a little bit three times so I'm pretty fucked up sorry the French but just be careful with this because this is like super super strong we'll keep mixing this up I'll add another cup of powdered sugar only I'm trying to mask that foul flavor got the four cups of milk chocolate in there and I found two big bars of special dark chocolate. I'm gonna add that. Probably tomorrow I'll go store. No, tomorrow's Christmas. Monday I'll go store. Get some more dark chocolate. Add to this. Most likely. Okay, I'm kneading needing this up by hand. Getting it mixed up. I'm putting in getting getting it hot again. Get some heat to it so I can melt it better together. Making Kenna fudge extremely, extremely strong. I've been sampling it as I go, that way I can adjust the flavors and tastes. And yeah, I'm ripped. And with this bowl here and that bowl there, what I'll do is I'll get a little bit of water heated up. I mean, milk. Let me heat this up and get all this out and make some hot chocolate with this. So now what I'm gonna do is knead it, get it hot, get it all mixed up. There'll be a few chips in there that didn't melt all the way. Just keep on, keep on. Get it all mixed in. Okay, you need to see all that. Alright, got her all sliced too. Now let us set. I'll cover this with a towel. Check her in the morning. Man, I got a lot of cleanup to do. Look at that. Uh -huh. AC infused chocolate crumbs from that. I'm making hot cocoa. Add water, add that or a couple squares, you're good to go. THC infused cocoa.